Yeah, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Alpha King Carter here. Um, how y'all doing? NBA 2K21 Prelude is literally across the street. It's about to drop. Listen, if you didn't know, I need you guys to have your console ready Sunday midday to midnight. Make sure it's on rest mode. Make sure you got either 2K pre-ordered or however you're going to get the demo. If you have a Netherlands account, get right. Listen, all I know is when I see Tassino say, I'm about to hop on 2K21, I'm there with him because he just got it like that. You know what I'm saying? It's the time difference. You know, you don't get it. Okay. But check this out, y'all. I have been going through all of my bills that I've created for 2K20 and I've been truly, truly trying to decide what my first build is going to be. For my first build this year, on NBA 2K20, I created the playmaking shot creator. I created the build with the shooting pie and the playmaking pie. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was a it was a cool build. It was all right. It, it, it did what it had to do. But eventually, I switched over to the scoring machine. Now, everybody knows the scoring machine is just a slower but taller OT. If you don't know what OT is, offensive threat, right? So my build, 6'5". You know what I mean? You can still do some of the slash and shooting, stuff like that, Hall of Fame badges, of course. But it's a little bit on the slower side. You know what I mean? Then came my glass cannon lockdown. My glass cannon lockdown was just a supplemental build that took off. I made a build video and people were like, yo, they really like this build because in the beginning of the game, there were a lot of bigs, stretches, in, in, in fact, that couldn't shoot. And it was only because they didn't have badges. But on the flip side of that, being a three level scorer or something like that, you really can't play much defense. You know what I mean? Unless you make like a rebounded wing. So a lot of people like the glass can kind of lock down that can shoot because a lot of people need twos. Some people are corner sitters. Some people just still need to be able to bang in the paint. And that was that with that bet bill right there. Now check this out. I also made a playmaking glass cleaner. I really didn't mesh with it. I made a video on it. You know what I mean? But I just didn't want to play that big of a character now don't don't forget in nba 2k21 you can create six eight point guards all right so so remember that in your mind uh, also yes i did make a prospect I only made one video on that you know went in with a 60 overall but then came the two way slashing playmaker now shout out to la monster when i seen la monster with this build this is when i believe he had the lock one instead of the playmaking one. I was like, yo, that build is a demon. That build go crazy. Then I start seeing the people like Brutal Sim with the same type of build. I'm like, oh, oh, that, that got playmaking takeover. Hold on, wait. I like that. Now I've been going through it and I've decided my first build for NBA 2K21 is gonna be a two-way slash and playmaker. But not only will it be a two-way slash and playmaker, it will be a demon on defense, but still have those offensive qualities that every two-way slash and playmaker actually wants. So let's go ahead and hop into the creation. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and launch the My Player Builder. Now, the reason why I'm doing this on NBA 2K20 instead of the 2K21 Prelude is because I'm 97% sure that 2K is not going to step away from their new Pi system. It took them too long to build the system up in order for them to just tear it down after only one year. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go with the position, point guard, right hand, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, everybody knows for the skill breakdown, you know what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? You gotta come down here to the playmaking and the slashing, you know what I'm saying? It makes it makes the bill, you feel me? So let's go ahead and move on, you know what I mean? Now, everybody knows you want that agility and that speed. Everybody gonna go with the first pie. The vertical is still crazy on this build. The strength is just not there. So that's what I'm gonna go with, of course. Now, the potential set and everything like that, this is where things get so insane, right? All right, so after a lot of deliberation, I wanna to explain to you guys why this build looks the way that it looks 
and why I'm gonna be choosing this bill for me to make. Now, if you guys remember, Lamonsta made a video back in like June, and he basically said that, you know, he had like a 99 overall um, legend two-way slash and playmaker, right, with max wingspan. Now, with this build, he was still able to play like himself without all of those badges that was needed. Now, remember, a lot of the people that make two-way slash and playmakers, they go with this badge set. They go with 10 finishing, they go with 10 shooting, 20 playmaking, and 20 defense, right? Now, the reason why mine looks so different, if you guys watched Lamonsta's video back in June, I believe my build and his are exactly the same. Th I mean, down to the, the, the literal detail. Now, the reason why I was able to make my build like his from the detail, I didn't have to watch a creation video. All I did was look at, okay, that's his stats. Let me see if I can mimic those stats. So as I was making everything and going through everything with the needle and thread and comb and all of that, this is what I came up with. So you get a 78 close shot, a 79 driving layup, an 85 driving dunk. Now remember, all of these stats are 95 overall. Now, I believe 2K will take out the fluctuation system because it was so broken this year. I believe that they will take it out. So if you get another attribute with every upgrade from 95 to 99 like you did last year, I believe this build will probably be one of the best builds out there because it's so diverse. Now remember, there was a lot of badge talk from 2K about badges that are gonna be leaving and stuff like that. The reason why I only need six shooting is because I don't need quick draw no more. If you guys remember, 2K, Mike Wang, everybody, they tweeted out saying that quick draw is gone. You don't have to worry about spending badge points for quick draw. So I'm gonna put my badge points elsewhere. All right, now another thing, the finishing. Honestly, we all know hop steps were super cheese, right? Super duper cheese. If you had fancy footwork, footwork you were stunning people, all of that. In 2K21, they're saying that there's going to be more of a paint presence, right? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this build for rep purposes, okay? I'm not just going to be using it to hop step around my defender and dunk on the, the uh, center in the paint, right? I'm going to be using this to throw alley-oops, throw flashy passes. This is going to be a real supplemental build on offense and defense because I want to clamp up everybody. I, I Listen... I cannot lie to you guys. I've been upset all year long at certain builds that just don't have the defensive prowess. Yes, we wanna be offensive demons. Everybody knows that, you know what I mean? That's why so many OTs out there. But when it comes down to defense and you can clamp somebody up, you can push them, you know what I'm saying? That's what matters because 2K is gonna reward those players that play good defense, get those loose balls and get them, uh, I'm sorry to say, Bump steals that been in the game for so many years. Sorry, hey, bump steals, you're still here, so I'm gonna take advantage. But uh, basically, um, after you put your attributes like this, you wanna come over, I pick compact style, all right? So remember, 6'5", crazy height, because if you think about it, there are gonna be so many people out there that are gonna create these 6'8 builds. You're going to need a build to negate that build. All right, I'm helping you guys create a build that's going to be able to stand on its own when they have a Ben Simmons running up the court to him. All right, now after the 6.5, now Lamassa said that he put his weight at 208, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Yes, my acceleration dropped down to 92, but remember, Gatorade, Gym Rat, all of these things will help you easily get to 99 with the speed and the acceleration, okay? Now, if those things do not come back, yeah, I'll come down to, let's say, 195 pounds. Base stats, the only thing that I really wanted to change was the interior defense. And that's what the interior defense is for with these bigs, all right? When you're going up against a Ben Simmons build, you're gonna to need to be able to have interior defense to stop the post hook, you know what I mean? That that can barely be stopped. You're gonna be able to need to have pogo stick and moving truck and all of that, all of these uh, badges. That's why this build has 23 defensive badges. Now, wingspan, max it out. From now on, I don't wanna build without max wingspan. I'm tired of going for steals and I don't get the same animations that these builds with max wingspan get. Like, okay, even minimal. You barely swipe at the ball. Like, 
your, your player put his hand up and then you bring it back down real fast, right? If you have like normal, regular wingspan, your player might jump for it, but it'll be a tip most of the time. With max wingspan, you catch the ball, you OBJ the ball, you Asante Samuel the ball, you Gronkowski the ball, okay? I don't know why, I don't know what it is, but 2K rewards players with max wingspan. They may, they may not reward them on the offensive end with shooting, but everything else, slashing, playmaking, defense, they reward these builds all the time. You see it day in and day out, all right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and continue, and I'm choosing the playmaking takeover. I want to take ankles. I Listen, you have to understand. Yes, the slashing takeover does raise everything. It boosts your shooting, it boosts your playmaking, it boosts your slashing, it boosts your defense. I don't care. I'm not going to make a two-way slashing playmaker that can only just slash. I want to embarrass everybody who steps up in front of me. Whether I'm doing momentums, spins, snatches, which everybody does. <laughs> snatch, up, snatch, up, easy. So that's what I'm going for, right? Now, of course, my player build complete. We all know we've built the two-way slash and playmaker, right? Now, as far as the badges go, let's go ahead and test the build real quick so I can take you guys to what it's going to look like. Now, like I said, you guys already know what it looks like at 95 overall. You can get a gist of what it'll look like at 99 overall, and you'll get a gist of what it would be at 99 point overall. Listen, this build is insane. And don't forget, the reason that I'm making this bill is because I'll be able to play a one or the two. I've been in so many situations where I bring a 6364 guard to the park and my man might have a little bit more playmaking than me. So they put him at the one and I'm stuck at the two guard and somebody that's six seven and getting dogged. I mean, I could be in a I could be in a corner, right? Holding him down because of course he's a corner sitter, right? I'm, I'm holding him in the corner, brush right past me. I'm 190 pounds. 175 pounds, he brushed right past me. Uh, alley you about the corner. Or he brushed right past me, catch the ball, and dunk on my mans in the paint. I don't want that to happen no more. So that's why this build is getting created because I'll be diverse. If we're in a game in a wreck and I just so happen to get moved to the two or the three, I'm guarding ball regardless. I want the point guard. I got his number. You feel me? That's what I want. All right. Now, uh, let's go. As far as these badges go, you already know, man. Like, a lot of people just going to go fancy footwork and slithery finisher. You know what I'm saying? And I most likely will go with probably consistent finisher, maybe because layups just are, are that easy. Or you can go contact finisher. If you want to be one of those people that, that finish contact-wise, go contact finisher all day. You know what I'm saying? That's most likely what I do because I, I like dunking on people. Um, As far as shooting, now remember, quick draw will be gone. So you won't need it, all right? You put range extender up and you put dead eye up. That's all you'll really need. Now, for the players that will use this build as the second or even the third in rec or the second at park, you will want to take off dead eye, keep range extender on, maybe put on corner specialist or maybe put on catch and shoot because you'll probably be in a corner sitting there waiting on things. Me, the reason why I would have dead eye because I, I, I want that ball. I want that ISO real quick. I ain't saying I'm a dribble guy or nothing. I just, I just want to ISO real quick. Let me try something. <laughs> I always say that to the sales squad, bro. Um, all right. As far as the playmaking badges, like I told you guys, I want to do everything for my team, right? So most likely, my setup, oh, it'll, it'll vary between floor general and flashy passer. Most likely, it'll probably look like something like this. Let me see. Tight handle, boom, boom, space creator. It'll probably look something like this. Floor General will be on for my teammates if I'm the point guard. If I'm the shooting guard, I'm gonna take Floor General off. I'm gonna put Space Creator up and I'll probably put Flashy Passer on, most likely. Because if I catch the ball in the corner or on a break or something like that and I see somebody sliding or cutting or something like that, I'm gonna throw my Flashy real quick, get my rep. I'm gonna get my rep and then they gonna get their takeover. You feel me? It's, it's all about helping the team out. 
You know what I mean? This is a supplemental build. This is not a build that is made to just dribble all over the court and do all this crazy running around. No. If I would have wanted that, I would have had 23 playmaking badges. You feel me? Now, um, what I would do is I would definitely go floor general, um, quick first step, space creator. And uh, actually, I'll go bailout. Everybody know bailout cheese. Now, if bailout is as cheese as it was last year with only needing it on bronze, that's my setup right there. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and also, if I'm the second and I'm not the person creating the offense and I know for a fact that my dude maybe is going to be raunchy, can create his offense every single time, I'm taking handles for days off. I won't really need it. I'll really, I'll give raunchy the floor general. You know what I'm saying? I'll, uh, I'll, probably, I'll probably put, let's see. I'll probably definitely put like flashy passer on. You know what I'm saying? And then like maybe, let's see. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? uh definitely unpluckable it'll definitely yeah it'll probably look something like this if i was just the supplemental guy in the corner just helping on my team that's probably what it would look like you know what i'm saying if you're a corner center and you don't gotta create your own offense that's cool right there but you already know everybody want to create their own offense right you know what i'm saying that's just the way the game go all right let me see all right cool now let's go ahead and uh go through all right so and defense last on the list right so everybody know that defensive badges are really needed right so if i'm going rim protector hall of fame and i'm going intimidator hall of fame right you got to go clamps hall of fame because you want to be a demon everywhere right now chase down artist rebound chaser and box you only really need those on bronze right now for people that's going to be in a paint like them six eight bills you're going to need pogo stick you know what I'm saying? And you probably even going to need moving truck. Now, Interceptor, I can tell you right now, you don't need it. But a lot of builds that have max wingspan, just put it on just because. So you can even go Interceptor, maybe Hall of Fame if you want to. Now, of course, you won't be playing up against 6-8 builds all the time. But if you're not, you can come down here. You know what I'm saying? You can go a little bronze pick dodger real quick. Um, also, Heart Crusher. Heart Crush is a very, very good badge. You know what I mean? Very good badge. Because what happens is if you block or steal the ball, you're taking people takeover. You know what I'm saying? And if, if you're not going to be the person, like say you're playing park and you're not grabbing no rebounds, you don't need box. Go Heart Crush it real quick. Because if you get anything on the defensive end, bucket. You know what I'm saying? You say you catch a block or you catch a steal. You can flashy pass it. You could throw the oop. Or you could just rise above the room and go crazy like that. You know what I'm saying? Super simple. Now, of course, rim protector. You, you, you're going to need it. Them chase downs going to be crazy. Yes, you only need chase down on bronze, but we don't know if it's going to be the same for 2K21. But if it is, bronze is all you need, baby. And pick dodger, we already know that badge is broken. You know what I'm saying? If they don't fix it, I'm keeping it on bronze because that's all I'm going to need it on bronze. You shouldn't be running full speed through screens anyway. You know what I mean? Play sides, ask your team to help out. You know what I'm saying? Go around the screen please do not go under the screen because if you go under the screen you ain't you ain't gonna be there for defense bro trust me you know what i'm saying that dude gonna shoot that ball from 33 feet away every time you're looking like dame and stuff out there all right but that right there is the build so i hope you guys enjoyed this video remember nba 2k21 prelude drops monday it's literally like one day or yeah about 24 hours from when this video uploads so make sure you guys have it ready. If you're on Xbox, if you're on PS4, make sure you guys got everything that you need in order, rest mode. If you need a pre-order to get the prelude, do it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to buy the game. You can pre-order the game, and then if you don't want to buy it, you can move your pre-order to something else. You know what I'm saying? You can go to game time and be like, yo, nah, I'm good. I don't want 2K. Move my pre-order like to a game that come out six months from now. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's like $5 or something like that. But I'll see you guys in the next video. The next video would definitely be NBA 2K21 Prelude. I probably might stream the creation. I don't know though, because I, lo I love doing streams, but I hate copyrights. I hate coming to my YouTube studio and looking at copyrights. It, it really makes me upset. So I might just take the time to actually create the build and showcase it maybe somewhere within whatever the prelude is and then upload it to youtube but i thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys hit that like button and i'll see you guys next time peace